my young ladies see we have been warned we have been warned young ladies no boyfriend boyfriend sugar daddy sugar daddy you go to church you love jesus and you are still with a sugar daddy because you need a phone your destiny is better and greater than iphone 15. because one day not only would you own you are going to be a manufacturer of those phones you have more phones than you can use don't sell your destiny for a phone you are bigger than that you are better than that you are greater than that hunger is nothing it is temporary i have been hungry before there was a time I had nowhere to stay. I stayed with all kinds of people because both of my parents were dead. But everything is temporary. Pastor Mensa Otabel is saying that we should work hard. No go follow Sugar Daddy. We are doing we are following Sugar Daddy for iPhone 15, but we don't know. We are exchanging our destinies. iPhone 15. <laughs> When I heard it, I laughed. The way he was even talked with charisma. But it's true. Most, some, are doing it. So he's not wrong. But all he's trying to say is, we should work hard. We should work hard so we can afford our, we can afford our own phone. Just work hard. Don't go follow somebody's husband because it brings curses. <laughs> I'll continue to laugh because this small phone self, that's me. My 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 mother bought crap. People are saying that I follow the sugar. I didn't follow anybody. I didn't. So you see, sometimes the perception is wrong. It's not everybody that follows sugar daddy. It's not everyone. Maybe that one. Your, his, uh, the mother bought it. The uncle bought it. Somebody was flu and came back and that straight to her. So see, that perception too is wrong. It's a moon jaya hacker. Quite if you see us with an iPhone, it's not your business. We the hardworking ones, it's none of your business. Thank you.